Hey guys, what's up? Road tripping today. Um, if you watched our disgusting food museum video, uh, this is day two of that adventure. Basically, we're heading home. Uh, we told you on our live stream last week too that we would be stopping at some celebrity homes. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, maybe maybe get, not stopping. Maybe like cruising by. Driving by. Yeah, we're not. We're not that stalkerish. Right. Um, gotta get lunch at some point today, so maybe we'll stop somewhere cool and iconic for LA. That's where we're at, Los Angeles. Um, take you with us for the day. We'll see what happens. We are cruising now, so. Nice to me. Right oh, it's for sale. Yeah. I love it. Yep. Let's go. Although I really wouldn't like to live on this busy road. No. It's a nice one. They are nice though that they are set far back from the road. Alright, so Maddie, who are we looking for right now? Whose house are we looking for? Jack Black's house. We are in Los Angeles currently. And we're getting close. And I now will um, know that um, Jack Black had his own YouTube channel. He just started his own YouTube channel and yep. he's got a lot of subscribers already. Yep. Alright, so that's the driveway right there then. Right there. That's Jack Black's house, right there. Yes. No, it's that driveway right there. Uh -huh. okay. okay, so see that yellow fence up ahead? Yeah. The one that's open currently? That's his house, 4900. See how it's a long driveway that goes back in there? See how it's a long driveway that goes back in there? That's his house. Cool. Alright, so that's all you can see at Jack Black's house. There you go. Alright, next stop. Let's go. So many Porsches and Maseratis and Land Rovers and Teslas. Mini Coopers. You gotta watch all of them because it could be somebody famous. Excuse me, sir, are you famous? Now we've made our way into Glendale. It's like a city just outside of LA. Something big going on down here. Kenneth Village welcomes you. No idea. Just like regular looking houses here. Hundreds of thousands. If they were worth thousands, I'd be buying one or two. I know, the peaked roofs are very cool. That, that pink one right there looks like a castle. This one too. Oh, yeah. Um, anyway, we get palm trees on the street. You know it's ritzy houses when there's palm trees. This is Jenna Fisher, yes. Pam from The Office. We're big fans of The Office. Yes, we are. There she it is. She must have kids because there's a, she a, does. Jungle, a jungle gym in her front yard. All right, coming at it from the other side. Big bushes, big fences. Hi, Jenna. We love you. Big old gates. Cool. All right, now we've moved on to Studio City. Cruise in this direction looking for David Dobrik's house. Maddie likes him on YouTube. I think he's kind of odd. Me too. Yeah, it's just right there somewhere. It's like the next row of houses. Oh, like uh, up? Yeah. Just up there. Yeah. So Universal Studios, the theme park, you know, it's just down the street, right? Kind of 
on the next hill over. So that's what this neighborhood is. right here. Holy crud. Look at that. Holy crud. I'll take that one. Yeah. His fence in his backyard is made out of glass. And there it is right there. The end one? Yeah. So this is all we can see from this side. A really hard spot to turn around in too. Jackson, no, the one on the back behind us now. That's it. Mm. So there, there you go. I can't see anything. So having to utilize the mirror here, the one with the glass fencing. That's his. Lame. Can't see anything from the front. Oh well. These are some gorgeous houses. Hi, Minion. All right, difficult to see. But from this spot, we've got a pretty good view of Universal Studios. You can see Harry Potter's. I can see a minion eyeball. I can see Harry Potter world. Pretty I cool. I being in the minion world thing. We gotta go back there sometime. I like Universal better than Disneyland. Yep. And it's sad for me because when I go, it's gonna be my fourth time. Jamie went when he was two. He does not remember it. Yeah, you've been there before, son. I have pictures of you there, I'll show you, since you don't remember. I think you slept mostly and cried. Definitely cried. Okay, if you're ever in LA and you see these kind of signs here, this is pointing direction to a filming location. And if you know the name, you know what it would be. But right now it's mostly just secretive. Look, there's. And it's pointing actually over to this parking lot. There's stuff on our left too that's associated. Doing something or trying to get people into. You see the <laughs> A lot of nice cars in there. Yeah, there are. You see that, that pile of. These trucks right here and these vans right here. Yeah. Studios. Yeah. Interesting, interesting. Well, this was our lunch plan today. This is the world famous Pink's Hot Dogs here on La Brea. Um, but we really don't have the time to wait in that long line. Yeah, we've waited in longer lines, but that one's just a bit much. Yeah. a wolf driving a motorcycle. See some of the strangest things in LA. It's gonna be super awkward when he looks over here and I'm filming him. Bye dude. All right our final celebrity stop is kind of an oldie but a goodie. This is The Office. What are we coming up to guys? The Office. The, from the Office. Yes the actual office from the outside shots of The Office. up here, which unfortunately is no longer running. But we love that show. So this was Dunder Mifflin Paper Company. Right here, now it's Chandler, Chandler Valley Center Studios. There's the gate and there's the parking lot. Oh, and they're still filming something there. Yeah, <laughs> still working the studio. There's a big wig behind me pulling in a Land Rover coming to this side. That is the former Dunder Mifflin. I'll have to do some research and see what's filmed at Chandler Valley Center Studios. 
It's in a super industrial section of Van Nuys. See, so there's the actual studios to film in back there. There's a stage. And then those are office buildings. So they used the front of that in the shot for the TV show. But then they filmed everything back in there. Pretty cool. I'll have to go through and find my pictures of when it was active as yeah, the office. I remember that um, door here. Over there. There's the front door. Oh, they got their craft service set up right there. Yeah. It's lunchtime. Pretty cool. Alright, now we gotta go find our lunch. There's our burgers and our fries. Kids are hungry. Yes, we are. Ready to eat. That was an extra long, extra slow ordering process. I got ketchup. Ketchup. A lot. All right. So this is gonna be our lunch slash dinner time, and then we are gonna get out of this area and get on home. Did you guys have a good trip? Yeah, get back on to the um, Yep. To the breathing. So, we have a nice little pile of burgers and fries. This is the LA, the iconic LA based, originated fat burger. Um, these are all around the whole world. Um, but none near us. But none near us, so I was excited to get one. They have a food challenge. <laughs> and I have decided to do that challenge. I know it's called fat focus because it's fat. It's the burgers nice are fat. Burger. That's right. I am officially doing the triple XL challenge. This is a one and a half pound fully loaded cheeseburger, side of fries, and a drink. It's the meal. Um, Sixteen fifty. It's a play. You don't get anything for it. So it's a little bit lame, but what the heck. Um, it's a good looking burger. I'm hungry. Let's eat it. Food challenge time. Here we go. It took him forever to cook the burger. Mine was almost overcooked, but still okay.
This one has no time limit, right? It's just finishing? Yeah, no time limit. Oh, yep. You're a mess, mister. This is a weird shape in You stole my ketchup. Mm -hmm. They come with, they come with mustard and mayonnaise, no ketchup. The whole video is 10 minutes currently, and that included talking at the beginning. Almost to 11. We'll run a timer. It should have been under 10 minutes, though. <clears throat> it's pretty dry, otherwise it could have been under 5. You could have cut it down. That is... <clears throat> he ate his whole burger and yeah. meal before I ate mine one. Yeah, he's a professional, not you. Wow. I don't Good know point. about the word professional, but... Okay, there you go. <clears throat> That's the triple XL challenge. And fat burger. It's easy. Good entry level contest if you're trying to do food challenges. Good stuff. Alright, thanks for watching, guys. Bye. See you on the next one. Bye.